Hi everyone! Today I bring a project which is basically for those who are getting started in the world of Scratch or for those teachers who are going to have their first Scratch lesson. So let's suppose our students already know the function of each area in Scratch and the project I propose today is a tutorial that you can find here which is called Animate a Name but I'm gonna bring you my own ideas. First of all, let's delete the cat and let's add sprites from letters. All right, once you have the name on the screen, I'm going to be proposing different animations from the different letters so that we see some of the possibilities that we have in Scratch. Obviously, very basic possibilities. Um, let's begin moving the letter D using the arrow keys. So let's select letter D Let's go to events and we're going to use the when space key pressed. You know that every program must start with an event. So let's select when up arrow key pressed. Well, and apparently if we put a move block here, when pressing up, it should move up. But it doesn't. It moves right. Why? Because the initial position of letter D is this one. So what do we need to do? Before it moves, we have to point in direction up. And now by pressing up arrow, it will move up. But as you can see, it rotates. If we don't want it to rotate, let's go to direction and select do not rotate. All right, you can also use a block here, which is set rotation style, don't rotate and now it, would, it will move up. If we want it to move down, let's duplicate and now when down arrow key pressed, point in direction down 180 and move. And that way we can move it up and down. Obviously if you want you can do the same with right and left. Let's go to letter I. In this case we're gonna do something different. When we click on the green flag, we're going to change the color effect of this using this, change color effect. If I click, it changes color once. But if we want it to change color constantly, we need to go to control and take a forever loop. By putting it here, when clicking on the green flag, as you see, it changes color constantly. All right, let's pass to letter E and here we're going to make letter E speak when we click on it. If it is when we click on it, the event that we need is when this sprite clicked. You know that all these objects are called sprites in Scratch. And to make it speak, let's go to looks again. But now let's pick a say something for two seconds, which could be something like hello, I'm your letter E. So when we click here, hello, I'm your letter E. All right, now in um, G, we're going to make something different. I'm going to pass this program here to letter G. You only have to drag it. And if you look at the mouse pointer to the cursor, it's on letter G. In I, I haven't lost my program. And in G, I have the same. Obviously, if I press green flag now, they both change color. But I'm not interested in it now. Instead, I want it to change something different. For example, let's have a look at world. Let's change this number by one. And when clicking on the green flag, look at letter G. It starts a world effect little by little little by little because I put number one here. If I put five, that happens faster, but I prefer one. All right, so we have four letters animated and now let's make something different in letter O. I'm going to go to letter O and I'm going to use a block we have here, which is point towards mouse pointer. And I'm going to start this when 
O key pressed. So if I put the cursor here and I press O, it puts at my mouse pointer. If I press O again, if I press O again, again, again. But can I make it point towards my mouse pointer constantly without being clicking on key O all the time? Of course, forever. I press once and as you see, it points towards me. If you want to make it more fun, you can add this block here, move. And now it will move towards my mouse pointer. I'm gonna get rid of it. I only want it to point and the initial direction will be that. Well, 90. And with this we have animated the five letters. Obviously they can all um, work at a time. As you see letter D moves, I change its color, E speaks, G um, changes the world effect and O points towards my mouse pointer. And I'm going to propose three more things. This is something you could do in a different session unless your sessions are long. One is adding a backdrop. Here we can choose a backdrop, for example, Arctic. And if you click here on State, Backdrops, as you see, I have space to add a program as well. So let's do it. Let's make the same program we've done in letter I. When green flag clicked, change color effect forever. Obviously you can try all these possibilities and choose the one you like the most. There we go. Okay, another possibility is playing with the size of the letters. For example, in I, you see the size is 100. Well, actually it's 100 in every letter because I haven't modified the size of them. But that's something I can change and play with it. If I go to looks, I have a block called set size 2. If I do this, when this sprite clicked, set size to 200, when I click on I, the size changes to 200. If I put that, it goes back to 100. But I could make a program to make it grow and shrink this way. Set size to 100, when I click on it, wait one second, then set size to 100. Did I say 100 here? It's 200. Okay. And then wait for one second again. So if I click, it grows and shrinks. And probably you're wondering, can you do it forever? Yes, of course. And it never stops. And you can even reduce this so that it does it faster. Okay, and finally my proposal is adding another object that is going to be bouncing off all around the screen. And I'm going to add from sports a soccer ball, for example. Okay, to make an object bounce, first of all we need to move it, but also, because if I just move it forever, when I click on the green flag, it gets stuck here. So the other block that I need is Evonet Bounce. And once you put this, it will be bouncing perfectly. I know it's moving in a horizontal um, direction, so, well, there are two options. You can indicate which initial direction you want here or here before the forever loop starts. You can do something like that. And when you click on green flag, first of all, it will point in this direction and later it will be moving and bouncing off non-stop. And now you can check all the possibilities here and there we go. This is our Animate Your Name project that I have for you guys. 
So this is the end of the tutorial, if you have any proposals you can leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!